I've made it to the temple called what? Sampan Pawong Sarong Water Wihan. And this is actually, this is a very old temple. It dates back to the Ayutthaya period. Now, it, the surrounding area used to actually be surrounded by a canal, and that canal would be connected with the Chapra River. However, that's no longer the case. Because of progress, the canal's been filled in and roads have replaced canals. Uh, but nonetheless, this is a very impressive temple. Let's go and have a closer look and learn a little bit about what Sampang Pawong. The temple was built by King Ramawan during his reign. So the nickname this one used to be Wat Ko. Ko is the Thai word for island. And the reason it was called that, it was surrounded by a canal. And that's why it was called the Island Temple. Now, King Rama I was the one who actually invested a fair bit of um, resources and energy in renovating this. But uh, this temple here dates back to the Ayutthaya period. So a second major renovation occurred during the reign of King Rama II. And then a third renovation uh, occurred during the reign of King Rama III, who's known as the temple, uh, the temple king. So during the reign of King Rama IV, he was the one that actually renamed this to Wat Sampang Tawong, and the name was to honor the Prince Sampang Tawong, and that was King Rama I's nephew. And that nephew was indeed, uh, was actually in charge of all the major renovations. Interestingly, this whole district has been, as later on became known as Sampang Tawong District. And Sampang Tawong District is famous for Chinatown. Now during these early times, it's actually a bit of a grisly past, this is actually the temple where a lot of executions occurred. Now the executions, not of anyone, but of the, royal, the royals who were convicted of crimes. The executions were carried out without any blood being spilled because whoever was being executed was put in a velvet sack. They were put in a velvet sack and then they were hit with a sandalwood club. Uh, you can imagine them lying on their st stomach, their head back, and the sandalwood would be smashed on the back of their neck. Or the other alternative method, they would be on their back and the sandalwood club would smash their sternum until they ceased living. Now, apparently, the, the slab where these executions took place, so they'd lie them on a slab, still is in this temple. So I'm gonna have a little look around and see if I can find this execution stone. I've had a look around and sadly I can't find the execution stone. I found uh, at the back of the temple there's a lot of uh, uh, tombs of the deceased but I can't find the execution stone. Anyway, not to worry, time to move on. As I said, it was, it's, it's, it's a nice temple but not one of the best temples I've ever seen. Unfortunately, there's some construction going on nearby as well. Which kind of ruins a temple experience. They did have some nice music inside, soft, gentle music, but when someone's hammering and hammering, I can't really get into a, uh, what you might call a meditative state. It's a bit hard to do so. So I've just checked Google Maps, and just nearby is Wat Khao Jam Fa. And it has a kind of an interesting history. So I'm gonna go and walk over there, and when I get there, I'll tell you all about it. 